Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex Hogger from Raw Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to get the ladies in Adobe After Effects. Now, we are going to pick up a car. Crazy, but it's going to work. Check it out. Alright, so that's me picking up a car. And first off, um, I'd like to say this tutorial is going to be very advanced for I can't show you step by step how to do it. I can only give you tips and tricks because it took me 10-ish hours to, to do everything perfect how I like it. So um, hopefully you guys can get the gist off this tutorial. Now when you, when you start this tutorial, you're going to start with obviously filming it. And you're going to need two clips, a clip of you imaginary picking up a car. I experienced that the best way to do this is to hold something in your hand small, like a brick, so you, so it looks like you have weight on your arm instead of in the air. And then do a shot of the car without you there and record it for 5 to 10 seconds, you know, just so you can get a still shot of the car. And make sure to do this around the same time so the lighting's the same. Alright, so, and then in After Effects, you're going to have your two clips. This is put together um, already, but you're going to have two clips of just the car and then a clip of you. Now, um, first, you would get the clip of the car and you would mask it by getting the mask tool and plopping all around. Make a nice mask, feather it, a couple pixels, and then you can mask out the windows. And then from that, you will mask out the wheels. Now, you want to do the wheels separate only because you're going to put some fake suspension effects and make the back tire roll when you move the car around. So, you can mask out the wheels. Um, see, there's the back wheel, the front wheel, all that good stuff. And uh, and as you can see, they're, they're whole separate, you know, if it will load, whole separate layers. And that looks pretty scary now with the windows once you mask them um, obviously they're gonna be blank and won't look like real windows we'll go over that in a sec but for now once you have your wheels and the car masked um, it should look something like this no shadows and your windows look I don't know something that's not a window and so from there you're going to get your car layer and we're gonna get the move the anchor point tool the pan behind tool and you're going to get your anchor point, which is this little crosshair looking thing, and move it to approximately where the back tire, the middle of the back tire on the hub. So, you know, the car rotates around that point because that's where you're going to be picking it up. And then, and then you're going to animate the car. It's pretty easy. All you're going to do is once you have it um, anchor point right there, the rotation should work like that. So all you got to do is animate the car coming up, animate it with your hand basically. It's all you, it's, it's that easy. Just animate it with your hand and you're done. And, and move it with the position as well if you go back and forth. Um, this is kind of obvious. But from there, you're going to to have to think about what's going to make this look real. What's going to to sell this effect? And to do that, you have to think about how re what a real car would do when you lift it up. So, so think about the wheel, the front wheel. When you lift it off, you know, suspension. It's going to lower down a little bit because, you know, the weight of the car makes the suspension tighter when it's on the ground. So when you lift it up, the wheel should come down like that. You can see how the wheel is a little bit further down. All you have to do to animate that is move the position down. Oh, I also forgot to mention that you'll want to par or parent all the wheels and all your effects to this main car layer so that the wheel rotates and moves with it. So all you got to do is just move the position once and it'll go down and stay like that. Um, it's all about the parenting, man. Give your kids a good daycare. Animate the tire moving from one point to another. And that can get kind of tricky because you have to, you have to, you have to guess how, how much to rotate it, which you have to go over it a couple times, you know, just, do it from one point to another point to where it stops moving and just 
move it around up and or down until you know it looks right so let's move on to the windows the windows we've already masked out like that you don't have to do all the windows just the windows where you can see through on the other side and then from there you can make an adjustment layer copy the mask you know control c control v on the adjustment layer from the cars masked and at the adjustment layer you can get a get a hue saturation effect which is effect whoop, effect color cor color correction <laughs> sorry uh hue and saturation now you're going to apply that effect you're going to click colorize yeah let's turn this on real fast colorize and then move the slider around to get to whatever color your windows are and you can even adjust the saturation and lightness to fit it perfectly um, and then from there on both layers you can adjust the um, expansion and feathering to make it look like it's the actual window and then make sure to parent the adjustment layer to the car layer as well so it moves with the car and then your window should be looking pretty fancy um, and then from there the last step which I found the most important step is the shadows that's what's gonna make it look good now to get the right um, the right color for your for your shadows it's not just a, a black you know um, so I went to my original footage which is this of the car and then I went to layer new solid and with the pin dropper tool I went and just copied the color of the shadow and it says dark royal blue but that doesn't look blue to me at all but you know whatever it knows more than me um, so now my black shadow is the exact color of the, what the real shadow would be in this scenario. Now I turn my mask back on in my car and then I have my shadow. Now all you have to do for that is look at the beginning when the car's in its default position like normal. Um, you have to look at the shadow of your other picture like pop it up on, on your picture view and look at it and just try to imitate it by masking it. Now, you can see here, um, if I show masks, that it's just a simple, you know, box looking thing. And then feather it out until it matches. And then you're going to have to make, do the same thing, but just on the wheels and some, some more feathered on the, the ends. Because they're rounded, so they make a, a, a more feathered mask. I don't know. And then when it goes up, so the car goes up all you're gonna have to do is is get another mask make another mask that's just big and flat and knows what's up and make it or make it subtract a subtract mask and then keyframe it taking over this mask showing it's what's up because it's the mask that knows what's up um, and then feather that out and it looks like the shadow you know is disappearing as the car goes up and then you know in the back when the back end comes down just make your your mask back here get darker and the back wheel shadow should always be the same you know it never leaves the ground and then make your front shadow slowly disappear and then just animate it all tweak things and that should be good add some overall color correction may sell it and then add some sick sound effects and some music if you want and then you know send it to the ladies and see what they think but um I think that's that's really all that I had to it. Um, hopefully this helped you out. I'm sorry it's so skippy and it's not an actual tutorial. It's more like tips and tricks. But um, hopefully it gives you guys a general idea on what to do to make this awesome effect that, that people will die for. Um, so if you have any questions, which I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, just uh, PM me and I'll, I'll make sure to... Uh, to reply back as fast as I can. And if you use this effect, make sure to to post a video response and I would love to see them, you know? Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, if you subscribe, I'll only make more tutorials, which uh, will help you guys out. And yeah, so hope this helped and you guys have a great day. See ya.